Okay, I'd like to talk about how plugin management is going to change within Mark Edit, uh, particularly the Windows and Linux versions. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and open it up. So as folks may or may not realize, Mark Edit uh, supports plugins. Um, so we have a plugin manager. The plugin manager points to uh, various plugins. Um, at this point, they're ones that I create, except for one, um, the Add Pinion, which is um, distributed by folks um, at Princeton. Um, up until this next iteration, um, this plugin manager would have only included things that I had, uh, I manage, um, but I'm going to be including other content. Um, so in this case, we have the uh, the Princeton plugin, and let's say you were to want to download it, uh, the way that it's going to work, at least at the moment as I'm working through this, is uh, when you go ahead and ask to download it, it will bounce you out to the, uh, the plugin download page so you can do the installation. Um, otherwise, uh, when you download a plugin, it gets loaded into Mark Edit, and um, when you delete a plugin, uh, you check it and click remove, and so it just like those things. All right. So um, the part of the, the plugin management that's always been kind of clunky has been what happens when plugins get updated, because Mark Edit hasn't ever really managed that before, and so uh, that's changed this time around. So. Uh, one of the things you'll start seeing if you look at the plugin manager is there's a version, num version number that's being attached. And so that version number uh, will correspond to the version that's been uploaded. Um, so I need to go through and add the version numbers to the, um, the current ones that are on the website. Um, and when you download uh, your version into Mark Edit and it gets loaded, it tracks the version number here. Uh, so when Mark Edit runs, if it finds that uh, the, uh, the version numbers are out of date, then it will update them, uh, or at least let you know that it's going to update them and give you an opportunity to decide if you want to update or not. So if I go uh, here, um, I've taken a new version here, and I will upload this file, and then I will go over here and I will change this number 2.4 because that's what the new version sets to and let's make sure that that gets represented because my server sometimes likes to cache things for a while let's see if it's okay so we're just gonna wait here for a second for it to cache Okay, so we just need to wait, and so let's do one more refresh, and we see that it's 1.24 now. So um, if we restart Mark Edit, uh, this time when it runs, you'll see that it says the following plug has been updated. So that's the plugin that I just posted. Um, so it says that one's been updated. If I tell it yes, then it goes ahead and downloads the plugin and sets it into a temporary location. So if we go to Applications Directory, Plugins, you'll see there's a temp folder now created, and there's the plugin waiting to be installed. And so the next time um, you open up Mark Edit, so you can go ahead and do your work. The next time you open Mark Edit, the plugin's been installed, and you'll notice that the uh, item's been removed the temp location and the versions have been synchronized at 1.24. So this is a way to make it so that um, as plugins change, and, and presumably there are a couple that um, are being worked on that are changing fairly regularly, um, uh, not super often, but um, I'm, I'm working on a couple, um, one with the Internet Archive and Hadi Trust that I'm changing periodically for local use, um, and then there are a couple other ones that, are, that are, uh, have been created. But this will be an easier way for folks to keep track of when changes happen, particularly if they've downloaded the plugin um, for use. Um, if you know, there's only one or two people using it, when you find a problem, it would be nice to, to know that, that that's been corrected. So hopefully this will make plugin management a little bit easier. And hopefully it'll make it easier for, um, for the folks uh, like Princeton who've created a plugin um, that, that fills a, a gap um, in the Mark Edit space because I am not a uh, an expert in um, the uh, transliteration of uh, materials to the opinion language and so um, when they update the uh, the 
plugin, I will update it within the record set um, in the Mark Edit uh, application so that the plugin manager can see it. Um, but more importantly, um, when installed, the application will see that and will um, manage the plugins for you so that uh, so that new updates uh, so that you're notified of new updates. Um, so that's uh, what I've been working on uh, on the Windows side. Uh, this is all work that has been done partly because of the uh, trying to do plugin support um, for the Mac Mac Edit version. And so uh, since I was uh, reworking the plugin support anyway, it was a good opportunity to essentially take what was there before, throw it away, and, and start again, um, try and come up with something that was a little bit more uh, self-managed. So hopefully this will be useful, um, and we'll maybe make plugins a little bit more uh, 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 widely used, uh, or at least uh, uh, get people to uh, think about creating their own if they're interested.